I think if you ask anyone what they think about when they think about Cornwall, fishing's right up there near the top. Uh, ports like Padstow, St Ives, Mevergizzi, where tourism is built on the foundation of fishing. That's the, the lifeblood that runs through some of these places. And I think fishing is right in the cultural fabric of this county and, and remains incredibly important. Born, brought up in North Cornwall, fishing family. So from as soon as I could walk, I could scull a punt across Newquay Harbour. I could go and catch crabs and lobsters with my dad and my uncle and my brothers. I guess that really set the foundation for my interest, my um, life in fishing. So we're based in Newlyn. A lot of fish comes here from around the smaller coves and harbours to be sold on the market. I guess for me, you know, one of the, one of the best bits is actually being on the quay. Early morning markets in Newlyn starting at 6am. Uh, an absolutely fantastic buzz around the place. Usually really diverse range of species. Most mornings anything up to 30, 40 species. There's, there's nothing better than being there um, early morning, seeing the real appreciation for the fish and shellfish landed by our members. Newlyn's been synonymous with fishing when you go back hundreds of years and in the early days we were about uh, pilchards, we were about small boats moving into the world of hand lining and shellfish and as fishing has evolved so Newlyn has grown with it and has been at the forefront of a lot of innovation in terms of the beam trawl fleet, in terms of selectivity in trawl gears, in terms of the gill net fishery. Um, so that you know is a really proud thing I think for Cornish fishermen to be seen as, as, as innovators and pioneers. One of the strengths of the Cornish fleet is the, the range of different kinds of boats, different sizes of boats in the fleet. So we've got large beam trawlers, small hand liners, inshore trawlers, gill netters, crabbers, scallop dredgers. That range of boats and different kinds of ways of fishing is really important to sustainability so we can target different species, different grounds, make sure that no one stock is targeted or overexploited. It means having fish to catch for generations to come. In its simplest terms, as primary food producers, actually feeding the nation seems to me is quite an important thing that people should be concerned about. Knowing where your food comes from, who's catching it, and with, with the CFPO and our membership, I think I can genuinely say that the fish is caught sustainably. We're kind of there as custodians of the marine environment, and we need to make sure the environment we're taking our living from is also looked after by us. Being a member of the CFPO um, gives an individual fisherman a voice. The, at the AGM where, where real fishermen get to speak directly to officials, the, the impact of that cannot be underestimated. It's an opportunity for working fishermen to tell senior DEFRA officials directly what's actually concerning them, where they see problems, where they see things that could be done better, uh, and really hopefully about making a positive contribution. Hopefully the CFPO is a reflection of the broader Cornish fishing community and community in general. It's a real, almost a, a family feel to the organisation and fishing, the fishing family more generally in Cornwall. Being part of that family is, is a privilege.